All right, what is going on, guys? Queens fam, go back at you in another video. And the Miami Heat close out April with a W, a much-needed W. Have not been playing well recently. You know, this team, the season, played okay, played bad, a string of losses, then looked oh so so, and had a huge string of wins. And then they had a string of losses. Then they had a string of wins. Then they had a string of losses. And then the string of wins they look so so and try to get back on the string of wins. It's been a roller coaster of emotion and to be honest, a very disappointing season. Uh did not expect this team to be thirty three and thirty. You're gonna be in the seventh in the Eastern Copper. Just gonna say that right now. I think I had us at third. Under I expected way much more than this team, but Hey, it's a disappointing season, but it, it, it's never too late to turn around. We can make a huge postseason run, although it's unlikely. It can still happen. Anything's possible. So, Bam had a monster duck over Jabai. Jacob Poltley. Um, I thought DeMar DeRozan played good. DeMar DeRozan's probably going to leave San Antonio next year. I think he wants to go back to the East. It's a roster spot, bro. Come on down to the Heat. Might get Lowry, too. Uh, speaking of Lowry, you know, Jimmy Butler, I think he named his godson after Kyle Lowry, or something like that, or his son, um, and Kyle Lowry's godfather, I think that was an article somewhere, so he might come down too, Jimmy Butler had a good game, but I really want to make this video because we had a May schedule, right now we're tied for 6th, but we're sitting at 7th with Boston, we needed them to lose tonight, Charlotte couldn't get it done. We got two games against Boston. We gotta win both. We gotta win both. They have an easy schedule. We gotta play, we got, we got Milwaukee and Philadelphia's another stretch. Those are two toughest games. Every other the game's winnable. We got the Cavs next. We should beat the Cavs. And then we got the Charlotte Hornets. That, we should win that, but we haven't beat the Hornets yet this season, so. But those are two winnable games. You gotta hope that, you know, maybe Atlanta or New York falls. It doesn't look like New York's dropping nothing. I think they're going to stay at the four spot. Yeah, I can't believe it, but it's true. Atlanta's battling with injuries, sort of like Miami, except a lot more injuries. So, I mean, they've had a sort of, sort of roller coaster. And they just lost to Philadelphia by a lot, and they got to play them again. So, we might actually try. I think the goal for Miami is to try to get that five spot. Just do everything in the world to get that five spot. We gotta, we gotta push either. If we can push New York back, we put push New York back. We just need to get a four or five spot. That should be the goal. So, no Tyler here tonight. No uh, Victor Oladipo still. You know they get the job done. Huge win against San Antonio. Serious sweep against San Antonio. And it's on to May. So, put put everything out and and just work the work off. And I mean, hey, I I'm not I'm not saying it's gonna happen. But win the last nine straight. Anything's possible. Win the last nine straight if you have to finish 42 and 30. That's all I'm saying. Cleveland next. If we lose to Cleveland, there is a huge problem with the Heat team in the month of May. Huge problem. All right, everyone. Peace out.